Hey everyone, today we are starting a new project. We are going to be converting this trailer, this six by 10 cargo trailer into a camper for my sister. My sister will be helping me with this as well. Uh, she does have mobility issues and physical limitations, so I will probably be doing most of the heavy lifting, but uh, it should be an interesting and fun project. I have never done any kind of like real construction, only cosmetic stuff. So this will be the first time I'll be doing like wood cutting, installing wood paneling and that sort of thing. The idea is to make this into sort of a hard sided tent, if you will. It's not going to have plumbing. It's not going to have black or fresh water tanks. It won't have electric but it will be beautiful, it'll be functional. She'll be able to bring in a heater and we have some ideas for her kitchen area that won't require plumbing. And it's gonna be really cool. We've already gone out and purchased a bunch of stuff for the inside once the shell is all built out. However, we still have a lot of work to do. Yesterday we did start work on it, so let me take you back and we'll show you where we are so far. We are picking up some insulation and some beadboard to get this project going. Get our walls going in the little cargo trailer. I'm grabbing one of these. Make it easier for my sis to get in and out and up and down. Today is the first day we are going to start work on converting this cargo trailer into a beautiful camper. I think we're just gonna try to get this drywall off the sides today and that's going to be the big project for this afternoon. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this railing off. I don't know what you call it, but that's gotta come off first and then I'll get all this drywall down. This is gonna be replaced by insulation and then we're gonna put B board over. It's gonna be really pretty when it's all done. If you're new to my channel, my name is Catherine. I've been living nomadically for almost four years now and I currently live in a 21 foot travel trailer. We're doing this for my sister because she is recovering from a battle with cancer. She wants to be able to get out and camp with minimal setup. She used to set up a tent. However, her physical limitations won't allow her to do that anymore. So she wants to have a little unit she can just drive up and be ready to enjoy the outdoors. I'm looking forward to her being able to join me at some of my beautiful camps on the road this summer. We got started a little late in the afternoon yesterday, so we didn't get a ton done, but yesterday I had mentioned I was going to be taking, I said drywall, this drywall down. However, we decided to go ahead and leave it up. These steel uh, screws are just embedded in there and it would take a lot of work they were stripping so we just decided to leave that there we went ahead and installed the installation on top again she'll be only taking this out in fair weather and she doesn't need to have a ton of installation in this small of a space she'll be able to heat it up with a heater pretty well if, if needed but we're going to go ahead and put insulation wherever we can we'll end up covering this portion down here with reflectix we will not be installing the windows ourselves. So there's a couple things that we will be hiring out and that will be the installation of a couple of windows, a vent up here, and then what else did we have him doing? We're gonna have him do some stabilizing jacks uh, all on every corner of the trailer. So today I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up putting insulation wherever it's needed and potentially get on to installing the beadboard on the walls. Things are really coming together in here. It's looking good. I'm gonna take a little break to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN, which stands for Virtual Private Network. And that is really important to me because I live a nomadic lifestyle. 100% of my business is done online. I often find myself using public Wi-Fi, And recently I took a trip to California where I was using hotels and the hotel Wi-Fi to get work done. What does Surfshark do? It keeps you safe and private by covering up everything that you do online like a mask. When your device connects online, all of your information is covered or blurred. It is encrypted. 
It keeps you safe from those bad guys that are out there constantly trying to hack into your information, data, and even identity. Using a VPN is like wearing pants outside. All of your important stuff stays private and secure. With Surfshark, you can change your virtual location, traveling, connect back to your country, and don't miss out on your home comforts anytime, anywhere. Get past geoblocks and government restrictions. Blocked website or app? Turn on Surfshark and say goodbye to FOMO for good. Easily access and unblock streaming platforms. Plus, get different content libraries around the globe. Pick a server, connect, and you'll be good to stream. And just like that, all my bills are paid and it's time to get back to work. Click the link below using promo code CAT to get 83% off and three extra months for free. Thank you once again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now back to work. I was definitely intimidated about starting this project, but one thing life on the road has taught me is never to let fear stop you. Go ahead and try it. What have you got to lose? If I wasted a little insulation making a mistake, it wasn't the end of the world. I would just start over again. With each area I covered, I became more confident. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, although it took a little longer than I thought it would. I'm cleaning up the job site as I go. I cannot work in a mess or live in a mess. I feel much more uh, productive if my space is organized. I have all the insulation from here all the way to here on the ceiling and then from here to the back of the trailer. Right here there's a light fixture. It works if you are plugged in, if you've got the trailer plugged into power on your truck or whatever tow vehicle you have, but we're not gonna be utilizing this. So I'll take it down. Obviously there are live wires in here, so we'll have to make sure those are secure. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with that yet. So I'll just move on for now. Prior to beginning work on the conversion, we took a trip to the big city. We wanted to visit Ikea for some ideas on how to outfit the interior. Strolling around Ikea today, looking for ideas to do a no-build cargo trailer. My sister has an existing six foot by 10 foot cargo trailer, and we are looking to convert it into a camper. So we're here looking at uh, ideas for furniture, for something that she can make into a kitchen, and we're already getting some great ideas. Mm -hmm. yeah. this is something that you could just put along one wall. It's very narrow for shoes, but you can pretty much store whatever you want in there. Every nomad's got to have a banana hammock. It is a new day. I'm catching up with you on day three of construction of the travel trailer. I'm just showing you snippets of each stage because I don't really know what I'm doing. So this is not a how to video. Uh, I have watched some videos, so it's not like I'm going into this completely blind. However, I'm not sure I'd recommend that you do it exactly the way that we are, but it's going to work for us. So I did get the rest of the insulation put on yesterday, uh, except for down here. So today we are going to be rolling out some Reflectix and stapling it onto this bottom portion, this plywood portion. Today's goal is just to finish that and then we might start working on the wood paneling. There is a big storm on the way. It may not look like it right now. It's actually very nice right now. The high is about 50 degrees. However, it is about to change rapidly. Their temperatures are gonna drop and overnight there's going to be quite a bit of snow. Uh, up in the more northern part of the state, they're talking feet. We're talking inches down here, maybe you know eight, nine inches and uh, it's gonna get pretty gnarly for a few days. We do have a garage slash shop that we can work in when the weather gets bad and maybe cut some of the paneling and keep going at it for a bit even during the bad weather. <laughs> Anyhow, it's time to get to work.
Okay, this is one wall done and uh, it's ready for paneling. All right, that didn't take too long. We got the Reflectix along every single wall. My hand's gonna hurt from that stapler, <laughs> but we did it. The wind is kicking up. That storm is definitely moving in. So we are going to call it a day. We brought a piece of the paneling in here. This is the beadboard paneling. We're gonna put it the lines vertically. So we were just doing some measurements for that before we start cutting. And uh, we're coming along pretty nicely. I'll check in again when we start work again. I'm just beginning day four of work on the trailer. We are now to the point that we can start cutting and putting up the paneling. And I'm very nervous about that. <laughs> I've never done anything like this. I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos. So hopefully we'll be okay. We did take another trip to Home Depot this morning for some supplies. When doing any kind of project, whether it be your home or your cargo trailer, just know you'll be making lots of trips to your local DIY center. Lots and lots of trips. It seems like it's constantly going back and forth to Home Depot. As you can see, there's a little bit of snow flurries. That big storm never really materialized where I'm at. Further north, I guess they got some heavy snow, but it wasn't as bad as predicted. But it is very, very cold. So some of the work today will be done in the garage. And we better get started. First thing I have to do is measure how long we need this to go. Measure to the top of this beam, 70 inches. Six feet. Daisy. All right, we got the first one cut. Let's see, it's not perfect. Hopefully I'll get better as I go. But, looks pretty good. get an idea of what it's going to start to look like. It is looks right to you. I think so. I mean, it looks like on the floor, on the ground it's straight, which is what we need because up here it's, un it's going to look uneven because it is. Well, I meant like the lines. Oh, hope so. <laughs> I think it looks straight. Like I'm following this one down. Are you ready? Yep. Sister. I think that's in. Oh, nope, it's not. As it turns out, we need longer steel screws, but it's okay that we put some holes in here because we'll just patch them up. She's going to paint anyways. Um, so I've cut this piece and I've cut this piece. I'm going to bring this piece in and see if that fits. Hopefully it does. And then we are back to Home Depot to find longer screws. It was funny, the guy said to us when we were leaving, see you in a half an hour, because he 
because that's just how it is when you're doing projects. You're running back and forth. Unfortunately, it's about 35 minutes from where we are. <laughs> Well, I think that's going to work. It's going to be one wall to up to the door. Yeah. All right. Home Depot, here we come. Okay, it is day five of work on the trailer. We kind of stopped things down yesterday because we had to rethink how we're doing this. We had covered up the uh, steel studs with insulation and unfortunately our steel stud finder could not find the studs because this whole thing is steel. Um, so we actually are gonna have to uncover all the studs. I'm gonna take this down. We have to make sure all four corners of this are attached to the steel studs at least if not more. So I'm gonna be cutting these down into smaller pieces and making sure they're attached to the studs. And I think that's going to probably do it for the work inside the trailer for part one. I'll be splitting this into two parts and the next part is gonna be very exciting because I think that we should have all the paneling done. We'll get the flooring in and we'll start bringing everything in uh, that my sister bought for this trailer. I'm sure that the professionals out there are just cringing at what I'm doing. Again, I'm learning as I'm going. I've never done this before. And this is just going to be, once again, a hard-sided tent. So the fact that it will have some insulation in it and uh, some paneling in that and flooring is going to be just good enough for the purpose that it's being used. We actually got about two inches of snow last night. It wasn't expected, but it woke up to a little bit of a winter wonderland here and it's very cold at 16 degrees. To wrap up today's video, it's going to be kind of fun. I'm going to show you some of the things that my sister bought for the trailer and to install into the trailer. And then uh, also I want to kind of go over the layout of how it's all going to be set up once it's done. Today my goal is to first of all take this paneling down and get it paneled properly all the way to the door. And then this side here all the way to probably that last big beam so that the gentleman who's installing the windows can get to work installing the windows because he needs these walls up before he can do that. So I better get to work. All right, so this has got to come down. Nothing like doing things twice. Are you watching me, pretty girl? Snow on your nose? Snow on your nose? So we once again have this uncovered and we'll be able to see the steels that we're drilling into. And hopefully this time it's gonna work. <laughs> Voila, and I learned to cut it on this uh, insulation board from a YouTube video, as well as learning how to use a power tool from a YouTube video. Let's see if this fits. It's a little windy. All right, I can clearly see a stud right here.
All right, I got this wall done. Now it is on to the other side. Looks much better than what we did yesterday, that's for sure. Let me tell you, it is a cold day. My face is frozen, so if I'm talking funny, that's why. Anyhow, I got the two walls done that I wanted to get done today. This is all I'm gonna have time for, for part one of this build in terms of the building portion because I'm getting ready to go on an adventure. So part two will be really exciting. <laughs> a lot's gonna happen. This took a lot longer than I thought it would, but live and learn. So if you can imagine, once these screws are covered up, we're gonna put, we're gonna put something here to kind of cover this up, make it aesthetically pleasing, but this is just to give you an idea. But yeah, I did it, I'm pretty excited. Now for the next part of this video, I'm gonna show you some of the things my sister bought that will make this little cargo trailer, little she wagon, a home for my sister. Okay, I wanted to show you some of the major components that my sister purchased for the cargo trailer. And the first one being this cassette toilet. She wanted one that was tall, high, so that it would be easier for her to get on and off of. And we will be uh, installing a grab bar near it. So that will make it easier for her with her physical limitations. Back here, we have a Mr. Heater water heater. So she does have a shower set up and this will heat up water so that she can take a shower if she's out for a few days. Uh, we haven't tried it out yet. So some of these things I might make separate videos for afterwards just to talk about how it all panned out, how they worked. Down here, she has an induction cooktop she bought from Ikea. I did hear that these are kind of power hungry, so We'll see how that works out and she may end up going to some sort of a fuel uh, burner, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it works out well for her. And the flooring is going to be these puzzle piece flooring that look like wood. I think this is really clever. It's gonna add padding uh, underneath her feet and they can be changed out. If they get ruined, she'll have the dog with her. It's gonna be a little bit of insulation as well, but we do have some flooring repairs before we lay that down in the existing trailer. It's gonna look amazing. And she's got all kinds of other bibs and bobs, but we will share that for the next video. Here's an awesome photo she has hanging of us hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. I think we did about 17 miles on a little section hike in Southern California that day. It was a, it was a fun day. Here are a couple of the grab bars. One will be near the toilet and one will be at the front entrance into the cargo trailer. Down here, she has this massive anchor power supply, so she should have no power concerns. And if we're camping together, she can always recharge it through my solar. She also has one of my images hanging up here and this one is also available on my website. And this is the kitchen she picked up. She'll be using two seven gallon jugs, one for fresh water and one for gray water with a battery operated water pump. Before cancer, my sister loved to backpack, hike, and oftentimes tent camp. Although she can't do some of those things now because of her physical limitations, that doesn't mean life has to end. It might look a little bit different now, but nature is out there to be enjoyed and she can still do it. My poor GoPro has already fallen. I've broken my tripod. I've dinged it up and it's brand new. Wanted to show you real quick the initial plan for the layout of this little trailer. It is going to have a twin size bed going all the way across the back here. So that's going to come out about three feet and take the whole length of the back. She can also make that into kind of a couch situation when these doors are shut with some pillows behind it. It should be really cool. Back here in the corner is where the toilet will go. And I think we're gonna put some sort of a round bar like this so that a curtain can go across. It's only gonna be her in here, so she doesn't really have to worry about the privacy thing. However, just for aesthetics, if she doesn't wanna have her toilet out in the open, It'll be tucked in this corner. Over here will be her kitchen setup, which I've shown you that. I've shown you a picture of that. And then I think here is just gonna be maybe a table situation or some storage. Um, I don't know exactly what's planned for this area. She's also gonna need to fit Birdie's crate in here. I think that's gonna go somewhere right here. 
So it's gonna be snug, but it'll be very cozy, very cute, and it's coming together. So on part two, it's gonna be very exciting. Lots of changes. It's gonna all come together. It may not be the next video. It might be a couple videos from now. Next video will be an adventure video. But I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I hope you learned something. I have learned a lot. <laughs> Again, not necessarily sure I do things exactly the way that we did them, but it's all gonna work out. Anyhow, thank you all so much for joining me. I always appreciate you tuning in and I will see you on the next adventure. See you soon. Bye-bye.